He's the star of the movie, and he's the producer of the movie, and he was great. I mean, he's a he's a terrific producer, and and he's always willing to. He's got a lot of good ideas, but he's always, you know, he'll let me run where I need to run. Um, and it was funny before we started shooting, I said, "It's a little weird because sometimes I'm going to need to talk to you as the actor, and sometimes I'm going to need to talk to you as the producer." And sometimes I'm going to need to talk to you as my friend to say, this is all out of control. I can't handle it. So should, what do we do? Do we announce those conversations? Do we decide which one it is beforehand? And he said, I, I'm, I'm confident we'll figure it out. And uh, we did. he's very calm. It's about a couple, uh, an, an older guy and his, his too young for him wife uh, living in LA. She's an actress uh, in her mid thirties. He's a guy pushing 60 um, and they have a kid together. And I wanted to write, there, there's a tension almost immediately that, and, and it all flows from their age gap. These, these people shouldn't really be together. They love each other, which is nice, but they are not the right couple. And we can sense that right away. Um, and I wanted to address that in a movie in a way that you don't usually see. Suspicion on, on his part and, um, mistrust of his previous life on her part. We were all in agreement about it and excited about that, that, that dynamic right away. And um, so they both, you know, they both really embraced it. And I think, I think they were both happy that we could, it was something we were not only acknowledging that there's a big age gap, but really exploring dramatically. This is a guy with a, a, a real darkness in his past. He tries to start over, but maybe the past won't let him. Um, and I also liked the idea of this young woman who's kind of drawn to that. She likes the darkness that swirls around him a little bit. You know, she's an actress and interested in exploring all kinds of human states and emotions. And maybe she finds that darkness appealing, uh, or maybe she finds it appealing that she's the one who believes him, even if others don't, uh, or maybe there's a whiff of danger about it all. And she likes that. Um, and I just thought that was a really juicy relationship to get into. I loved the idea of a house that does not follow the physical rules of the universe. Um, and, uh, you know, there's things that it make an impression on your, uh, um, on your young brain and then you carry it around with you all your life. But I liked the idea that you know, let's take this house that doesn't look all that big, but have vast subterranean areas and uh, hallways that don't that lead to other hallways that don't make sense and doors that open into into never the same room twice um, because I was because for one that's fascinating and it's 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 great to me on both a literal and a metaphorical level that there's stuff below that you don't know about and you know uh, corners that you're not exploring both of your mind in this house and also I um I just, I just found it scary. The idea of getting lost in, in, in your own house is, uh, you know, uh, upsetting and scary. I felt like we won the lottery a little bit. Um, what what's, was terrific about this part that I think she really embraced was that there's, there's a bit of, quite a bit of darkness in her character as well. And she hasn't really had a chance to play that very much so far in her career. Um, because, you know, Hollywood wants, somebody who looks like Amanda to play the ingenue. And, and you know, she's very good at that because she's a very good actress. But uh, playing somebody who has shadings and dark sides and maybe does things that we don't entirely approve of is, is a lot of fun and is a different kind of acting. So I'm, I'm glad she got to reveal that.